Right, okay. So, um, hey everyone. Um, on my desk, as you can see, there is a pile of papers. I've got um, like these practice papers I use. Uh, the good old faithful ledger paper. So if I open it up, that one, it's got writing on it. Paper pad with different patterns of paper. Uh, music sheets, pattern paper from, from subscription boxes. So this is actual artwork by Anna of Mrs. Brimbles. This is like under paper, which is Honestly, it's a godsend under paper. It's like the paper you put underneath your artwork and then it gets messy or you test paper, sorry, you test pens, paints and all that sort of thing on them. Um, and then they become either almost a piece of art in itself or collage paper or whatever. I've got book paper, more pattern paper, book paper. This is, um, it's like tissue paper I was practicing um, paints and colors on. And then I've got the old 12 by 12 patterns of paper and some more there. So, okay. So the goal is, what I want to do is, just try and find, I want to make an insert for the Dream Create Journal Challenge, which starts in November. And I, well, I normally use a, um, what do you call it? My, sorry, my, my thumb. Yeah, I normally use like an insert so like an insert with Tommy River paper or just some heavy duty uh, paper will do. So I, I'll use something like that. But for this challenge, I really, really wanted to use this um, B6 Travis notebook by Ivy Shutter, I think her name is. So I'll link below where I got this from. It's one of a kind um, and unique. You, you'll never find one exactly like this. And I am in love with it so much. And I wanted to create, oh, and there's a little charm that I made, which I'm going to be putting in my shop. And yes, that's another announcement I need to make later on about my shop. Um, so I want to make an insert in here and I want to use junk, a junk journal style insert. And it can be rough, it, can, it doesn't have to be neat or perfect. And so I'm going to base it on the size of this insert, which is a B6. So I've got this I can um, use as a guide. Um, so I'm just take this out. And as you've guessed, with all the papers I just showed you, I'll be using those to create my create my insert. Hold on a second. So yeah, normally I, I would probably use something like this. This is the life journal uh, or notebook, and they are fantastic to use for. Um, you can. Oh my goodness, it's that cold in here. I could just saw my breath. <sighs> oh, no way. I don't feel cold at all, but I do need to get, um, it isn't cold, cold in here. It's not too bad, but I, I should really get heated for it. Um, oh my goodness, I can't believe that. So yeah, this is great. You can watercolor on this just fine. It takes pens really well. So that's that. Um, and I really want to decorate the cover as well. So I don't want just like, I bought or brought with me these. Um, and I thought, oh, that's really pretty. I could have that as a cover. That's really pretty. I can have that as a cover. But I really, really want for my cover to stick lots of little things, do some collage on there. And, and, that, and I don't want to cover these up. So I'm going to use that for something. I'm going to put those aside to use for something else. They can go down there. So for November's challenge, um, if you head on to the Dream Create Journal Facebook group, which I'll link below, um, you'll find all the information that you need. We also have the blog, which where, that's where all the posts are gonna be um, put up. And hopefully by the time this video is out, the new logo will be in the group. Um, and the relaunch of the actual group itself is in progress now. So yeah, head on over there. So I'm thinking, right, so for this journal, we're going to have, if there's like, what, 31 days, but obviously I might need a few more pages than that. So, literally going to just start layering papers on top of each other. And it will be cut down to size once it's, um, once it's all put together. And I'm just trying to figure out just now whether or not to have 
Um, yeah, let's do that on the inside like that. Whether or not to have signatures. I'm just going to see how thick this turns out anyway. Um, so just play around with the papers. Layer them on top of each other. I don't want two papers too similar together, put together if that makes sense. I want like a variety. Um, what else do I have? Like, you can even use, if you want to, let me just grab this, bags. Um, and I could even leave it like that, you know. I might actually. I might just, you know, I might just leave it like that. And I need to bear in mind what's going to get trimmed off of that. So I don't want to lose too much of the paint on there. like a uh, um, not like a neat finished look if people really like perfection yeah that's what's looking the words I was looking for perfection not going not aiming for perfection so if people have got OCD about how neat things are this is gonna be a nightmare for you in fact I really like those two together like that um, so how many pages? One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What's that? Thirty-two. So I could stop there, but I might need a double spread. So um, might just add some of that. I don't think I'll need signatures, will I? If I'm honest. Um, uh, maybe have a pop of colour on that side. I need a bit more um, colour. I feel like. Um, Love that. I feel like adding maybe some colour. Also, I'll tell you what would be, oh, I was going to say really nice is to add the page which is a doily, but then that said, because this is going to be like quite scrapbooky anyway, I might be sticking those down. Um, once I'm filling the pages anyway, so it's not too bad. They're what colour? There we go. Um, so that there like that, and then maybe finish with that. So what I need to do now, because this um, is my guide here, this piece of cardboard is my guide. I need to fold it in half, but I still need a um, a cover. So what I will do is, let me find, um, let me think. Um, see now I could still use this as a cover and decorate it, maybe paint it. I don't want it to be just plain, I do want a background to it though. Um, what else have I got I could use? 
Right, just bear with me a minute. Let me have a look what else I've got. Okay, I um, I absolutely love the colour on there, and even though it's probably going to get a lot of it, it's going to get covered over. It's, it inspires me just having the colours there, and then I can add stuff on top, and then hopefully um, some of these colours will peep through, and then maybe I can just add a bit more anyway. So that's going to be the back. I do need to just double check. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's fine. I needed to double check. So that's the front. So that will go that way. Let's just. Um, that's fine. So now what I need to do is try to keep these together. I'll put that on in a minute. The best that I can. I have got. Um, Look, I really don't need to be precise with this. I'm just folding it in half using the um, using this as a guide. So, let's see. so just line them up like so. It's difficult to line up because obviously the um, papers. But it's all going to get cut anyway, so it really, really doesn't matter. So yeah, if things are a little bit wonky, it really doesn't matter. Now I'm, I really want to go for. Um, I want to go for. Let's see. I just need to mark it off where it's gonna. So this is the space that I have to work with between there and there. Um, I could just move that down a bit, can't I? Let's just check the pages, go through them. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's fine. I have to just go through them to make sure I, when I stitch through, that's cool. I might just move that one up. So, the space, the area that I have to work with, this is by no means a tutorial, but you can, um, you could, like, a proper tutorial, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. So, I have got 7.123, that's a really long number. I need five, so, um, Right, okay, so I've measured out roughly. I'm useless at maths, I tell you. It takes me a while, I have to sit down and really think about it and have my calculator dividing stuff. And then I need odd. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I have um, this sharp pokey tool. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. So I'm gonna pierce holes all the way through. It's super, super sharp. So normally I would put something underneath, maybe some blue tack or something, but I might, it might, oh no, I might not get away with it. I'm gonna have to get some blue tack. So I've got that, poke the holes through, super sharp thick needle, and I chose white thread because like normally I would probably use, if I was doing this professionally, I'd use waxed thread, I might get a candle on this. Seriously, it, it, it honestly, to, to me, it doesn't matter at all in the slightest. If it comes apart, I'll just re-thread it with maybe some wax, whatever. So yeah, I'm not precious like in how I put this together. I just love that look. And also, the reason why I chose white is because if, if I do use paints or anything, then uh, it would be great for this to get um, like marked up with the paint and stuff. So, uh, so that was another reason why I chose it. Oh, actually, I can use this, can't I? sponge so that's under there maybe that will work yeah also bear in mind i could actually 
as well. And I think I'm going to do it actually, that's a really good idea. I'm going to, because it's not too thick, I thought this was going to, out in my head, for some reason this was going to be super thick. Okay, stapler, where did you go? I'm still getting used to where I'm putting everything in here. There, I can actually see where the staple needs to go. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat. I'm going to just keep the pages together by popping a stapler. Okay, that one didn't go through at all. That was pants. Uh, let's do that one again. with this bit. I just need to leave, make sure I leave enough to tie in the uh, middle. Okay, so now we've got our stitches in place. I haven't gone right up to the very edges, obviously I'm going to be cutting this down as well. So I need to make sure that's all secure and I want to tie my knot um, right down to the middle there. Like so. And if you want to as well you can just leave it, leave the strands there for um, just added effect, you know, I'm not bothered, I might actually leave that like that. So um, now I have to um, find my, I've got a thingy, what is there? My knife and cut this to size. So what I want to do. Right, so that's on there now, that's all put together. I need to measure out um, size for, let's do this, um, for a B6. <laughs> Look at that, oh my days. Let's try and get this to fold somehow. Um, Okay, so I'm just going through with this um, plastic, uh, like, what should they call bone folders, aren't they? It's not bone, it's plastic thingy majig to just give the book itself its shape. So when it comes to cutting it, I'm going to cut it the right sort of way. something of a weird spine going on there which is fine because it's going to get filled and it's exactly how I kind of imagined it and um, I like the tactileness of it all so that's my wonky book yeah it's going to be filled with things so I really like that look at that I was going to put washi down the side but I don't think I will because I really like how that's turned out nice and rough Okay, so B6, 
I'm going to have to measure it right now. Oh, crikey. Just, um... Maybe... Yeah, I might have to do it like that. Um, this is, like, literally just the easiest way for me to do it. So I'm going to line up my book like that, because I'm not being too fussy or careful. Let's see. I just want to make sure it's got the same measurement from... So that's about one, so that's three. Yeah, that's about right. That's pretty much bang on that. Um, so I'm just going to use this as a template. Oops. Is that right? Awesome. Um, so what I'll do is, I'm going to, I'm going to cut down here with the knife, which is in here. This isn't like the sharpest one I have. Okay, there's that. And I'm going to do... And then for this, um, I wanted to try and score it, but I don't have, I don't know I have, no. And I want to um, maybe, um, so if I use that sticky pokey thing, I need to know what this is called, I can't remember, hole piercer thing. I want to rip the edges so it gives it sort of like that, a rough sort of look oh that looks awesome i love it ah it's so cool and then I'm so happy how this is turning out of the journal. I love it. And these bits I'm not going to throw away because I can use these to collage. So I've got that, that. I mean it does mean that I, I end up collecting loads of little bits and pieces but um, I need boxes for different size of bits of paper that I have so I'm going to I'm going to keep hold of those and then I'll yeah so I don't need to chuck those away do I? Let's just move that to one side. Okay so um this is my journal that I'll be using for the Dream Create Journal um, Challenge for November. It's obviously, um, looking at it now, you know, obviously it's, it's cut out, and I really love it. I'm so happy with it. It's um, thin, like it hasn't got things in here yet. But what my plan is for this challenge, which you'll find out what it is soon, if you head on to the group, if it's out already, if you're watching this later on, you should know what it is. Or you, oh, I love that, that combination. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, yeah, you'll know what it is soon. If you head on to the blog, you'll know. Um, so what my plan is for each challenge, for most of them, is to um, kind of have like a scrapbook going on. So like, for instance, on one of the challenges, let's get a decorated page, something like that. And then let's say this one, oh, that's got a thing in there. Well, yeah, let's say this one, okay? So for this, I can have, um, I could um, get some washi tape at the bottom of that, washi tape that up. This could be somewhere where I can 
put some writing or ephemeral photos in there maybe, I don't know. And then I will perhaps stick an, um, excuse me, an envelope or um, something to hold a journal card in or even just stick a journal card on there um, because that matches really, really well. And journal whatever, um, so like my journal space could be journaling cards or a cut out piece of, say, ledger paper or something. I can stick it on there, write out whatever the challenge is or prompt for that day and, and journal on there and then maybe decorate the page, stick some photos um, and when you see the challenges you'll see like there's lots of different things to do so um, I will add to that but it's a really nice, just it's just nice to have something different you know so um, it goes really well with my charm as well, oh, I love that so much, right so um, let's see just do two last so that it's like that and then pop my life and label my book back in there that's there and then um, I'm thinking as well there's a there is a tutorial for something else which I'm not going to say what it is yet but which will go in here um, so yeah, keep if you want to know again, go over to the group um, and keep your eyes peeled for that. But I'm also I can also do a dashboard as well in here or a shaker dashboard, um, which I might I might do as well. So that's that just feels really nice. So yeah, that's my um, journal for the Dream Create Journal Challenge for November. Um, I hope it's kind of given you maybe some ideas, inspired you, and also um, to tell you that. To let you know, basically, you don't have to be perfect with it. You can get really, really, really creative. You can um, use anything that you like. You don't have to go for perfection or anything like that at all. And because of the nature of this month's challenge, I wanted something that was unique and personal to me. So I like, I, I absolutely love this. I'm just so pleased with how it's turned out. I will be covering it, which you'll obviously see in my posts later on. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just pop them below and I'm usually quite quick to respond. So um, I will do my best to answer them and to, um, and to help. So yeah, th thanks again for watching. Take care, bye.